With us at 430, I'm Trishna Began. And I'm Solomon Syed. State lawmakers are now speaking about proposed changes to New York State's controversial bail reform laws. News 10 ABC's Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us why time is running short for changes to be made. Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins is skeptical about the governor's 10 point public safety plan, which includes changes to bail reform. I think the general sense is that nobody in our conference is wanting to go backwards. Absolutely not. However, she says her conference is open to listening to new ideas as budget negotiations are underway. The governor's 10 point plan includes giving more discretion to judges to detain criminals for more crimes, including repeat offenders, and making changes to the raise the age law. Assemblywoman Latrice Walker says bail reform is a successful program and is against any rollbacks. She feels so strongly about this that she has pledged a hunger strike. And so to say that someone should be held in jail pre-trial on a matter that will likely not end in jail time, uh, I believe is an injustice and I'm all about fairness, justice and equity. And when it comes to your hunger strike, are you planning on doing this until the budget gets passed? I, that's my plan. I haven't uh, necessarily decided on the date. The assembly minority leader feels very differently. At the very least, we'd like to see it amended, but it really needs to be repealed. We're seeing, you know, huge spikes in crime, not only in New York City, but throughout the state. And albeit it's not all a direct result of bail reform or cashless bail, but that certainly plays a role. The governor would like to see changes made to bail reform included in the New York state budget, which is due next week. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. And you can stay with News 10 for the latest.